Hi everyone, I'm Vanessa from the Bolinas Library and today we're going to do some origami together. This might be something that you are already really good at doing at your home, um, or maybe it's new. I am not that great at it, so I'm still learning. And we have a couple different origami creations that we're going to attempt today. And I'm going to try and make this box. Maybe you've made a box before, maybe not. Or maybe you've made it a different way than the way that I'm about to do. So what you can do is start off with a square piece of paper. And if this is not a square, this is a rectangle. So if you don't have a square, don't worry. You can fold it like this to make a square. And then cut along the edge and you can do two squares and try and make one just a little bit smaller than the other so it can fit one can be the lid that'll fit over it so once you have your square you're going to fold it in half one way and then in half the other way and then you're going to have your paper that looks like this and then you're going to pull in the corners, every corner into the middle, like this. And with origami, you can get really good at being very precise when you fold your lines, which is something I'm not so great at. So I'm still learning. And you hit this. Then we're going to fold again in to the middle center, fold in half, and then you're gonna flip it and do the same thing on the other sides. Get to the middle, and then from here, you are going to, this is the tricky part, you're going to take the little corner edges and you're gonna tuck them in to each other. So you're gonna bend it Fold again. Again, around and around so you get all four corners tucked in. And usually, as always, the last one is a little hard to get them all in. Whoa, is this gonna work? Um, <laughs> okay. So when you're finished, you should have two little boxes that look something like this, and one should slip in the other. And here's your box, and you can give it as a gift. You can put some treasures in it. What will you put in yours? So this was my attempt at origami. And next we're going to see a good friend, Erica Hara, and she's going to show us some more origami tips and some really cool creations. So thank you, Erica. Thank you, Vanessa. Hi, everybody. I'm Erica. I am from Japan, where I'm from, origami are really, really popular. All the kids play with origami all the time. So, I thought I'll teach you a couple of things today, and maybe you can make at home, too. If you don't have origami papers, maybe you can ask your mom to cut, you know, any paper into squares. Or you can cut it and then make a nice pattern with your markers. Okay? So first I'm going to make piano with you today. So, oh, sorry. I should just do first. You fold it. Sorry, my baby is a little sleepy. Okay? So fold this in half like that. With when you're doing origami, make sure you're getting the corner to corner and then you know, neat, nice and neat, like this. Okay, now fold it in half again, like this. Okay, and now you have this nice line in the middle, which can is you in the yes, he said, there you go. You can try it too. My two year old son is going to try with me. Okay, so now you have center indicate it. You want to fold this edges towards this line like this. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. Like that. 
both sides. And now, it's a little. What do you have hole. to do, Mama? Yeah, like that, you say. And then here. Here, you just go like this. Open the pocket and press it down. And then making a nice triangle like that, okay? Do both sides. You're almost there. Don't get frustrated, keep going. Like this, push it down. Okay? And now you have this little tongue sticking out. This one, you want to fold this up like this. Maybe just twice, so. Where is it now? Yeah, good job, you said. Thank you. And then, yeah, like that. Can okay. you do another one now? Yeah. And then, you just go like this, and look what you have. What oh, is looks it? like a piano. Boop. Isn't that great? What I like to do usually, let me just get the pen. Oh, I want to make something too. Okay. Can you make a boat? Yeah, we can make a boat. So we can go up. So from here, I'll show you. You can draw like this. I like to do this. When I was a little girl, I used to do this all the time to play a piano. Like this. And you just draw lines like this. Look. Now, it really looks like a real piano. Woohoo! Wow! Okay. Okay, now, next thing I'm going to make is, believe it or not, where can, are you? Can I do that one? Yeah, sure. Let's so do this one, okay? Can, believe it or not, we are going to make a balloon. Do you think this paper will turn into a balloon? I don't think so, but we'll try, okay? Well, so balloon, balloon, balloon. I have to remember how to make it, okay. So you go, okay, same thing, square into rectangle. Make sure the corners are matching neatly. Fold it and then make that and then another folding in half like that, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, you say good job. And then open, open, turn into like this. Yeah. Doop. And like this. Boop. Okay, so now the both sides. Both sides like that. This triangle. Now we're going to lift this corner up to the top so um you know this side is open this side is closed so we're gonna put this corner to towards the closed end like this okay all four of them all four okay one two like this and then flip it and then do it another other side too three four now so this part is a little difficult. So you might need to ask your mom to help you. Or if you're big enough, you might be able to do it all by yourself. So you, first you're gonna fold this corner towards the center line right here. Like this. See? You might go like this. And then do the other side too, okay? Now, locate your these legs. There's four legs. We're gonna put this into this little pocket, okay? So I, I'm gonna so fold it all the way like this. And then, let's see, and then, it's kind of complicated. See this pocket right here? You just like go like this. Boop. And then tuck, tuck it all in. 
Now the leg, leg, leg part is gone into this pocket. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Fold it, fold it, and then tuck it into this little pocket right here. Okay, and then this side too. Fold it, fold it, and tuck it in this little pocket. Okay, so you're gonna do four of this. And this is the funnest part, guys. My favorite. Okay. Now we got a balloon. Okay. Find this hole and go. Okay, watch it, okay? Okay, look. We have a balloon. Yay! Bye bye. Okay, can you see? Bye bye! Thank you for watching! I hope you have fun! Bye bye, you say. Bye! Thanks again, Erica, for showing us some really cool creations. And you can look for these instructions on our website below. And you can use paper of any kind. Usually, lighter weight is better. If you have special origami paper, that's great. And if not, you can use printer paper. I use construction paper. You can use old calendars you can cut up or magazines. So there's a lot of different things that you can do. And I hope that you have fun with this. And until next time, I'll see you later. Thanks.